Yo, what is up Smash players? In today's video, I wanna talk about why you mash because why you mash can come down to one exact thing every single time and even pro players mash and it comes down to the exact same reason and that one reason is because of fear. It is because you're afraid. You're afraid you're gonna get punished. You're afraid you're gonna get hit. You're afraid you won't be able to hit them if you don't do something right away. And now let me show you a bit in game what I mean. So right here, I'm Gandorf because the difference between a good Gandorf and a bad Gandorf is that a good Gandorf has cojones of steals. You cannot, of steel, you cannot be afraid to play as a character like Gandorf. So let me show you a good example. Now, some, t okay, bad Gandorfs, they'll throw, okay, let's say they throw out a dash attack. A bad Gandorf will actually throw out a dash attack and shield. Or I'll throw a dash attack, let's say they whiff it, or spot dodge, okay? Because they're, they're afraid to get punished. They're fearful of getting punished, okay? But now there's other Gandorfs who will, who will dash attack and then F tilt, okay? Because they'll say, oh, they're gonna try to punish me? I'll, I'll kick them first, okay? So I'll dash attack with and they'll F tilt to try to, to punish them trying to punish me. Still, there's a bit of fear because you're afraid you're gonna get punished. So it's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta hit them away quick. Okay, so they, they cover their burst, they miss their burst option and they cover it with either a defensive option or another burst option. Those are both a bit fearful, don't you think? Would you say a burst option is quite fearful if you're trying to do it to get out of a sticky situation? Now what I see good Gandorfs do is they'll whiff a dash attack and they'll jump up and fare me <laughs> because they're not even afraid that I'm gonna try and punish them because they play off my fear, you see, they, it's like they're Arnold Schwarzenegger. They don't have, they don't, they don't take shit. They give shit, you know, they don't have the fear. They put fear into me. And I saw, I once shielded a Gandorf dash tag and he jumped back and he landed with fear. You see how slow this startup is? But it was so much more of a juicy ass punish. And he was able to do something that he could space a lot better. Whereas F tilt, if you with this, now you're really getting punished because then they have two chances Look, they were already for this, and then they waited for this. Now that move has high startup, high lag. But this has high startup, low lag. You see, usually you sacrifice lag at the beginning of the move for lag at the end of the move, or vice versa. So if you do dash attack, and then you jump back and fair because you have balls of cojones, or you have cojones of steel, now you just did a spaced aerial that does that's pretty safe. Okay, for Ganondorf, it's pretty safe, you know, relatively. And then now you're not even in disadvantage anymore because you didn't have that initial fear. So some things I like to do is, um, I wanna show you an example when I play as Joker and you know, don't click off the video right now because I'm changing characters. But, and I know this seems like small scale, like uh, like this doesn't, you feel like, okay, well I never like Gandorf dash hack. Look, any situation where you are mashing spot dodge or mashing another move to get people off you, that is mashing, okay? That is called mashing. That is not doing the best move for the situation. Something I love to do as Joker all the time, and I would get so many free kills as Joker, and this applies to anyone. This would be coming off the ledge because most people, when they come off the ledge, they mash, okay? A lot of people, they'll do neutral get up, F tilt, or it's neutral get up, down tilt. They'll do a burst option, okay? But you know what my favorite ledge option was? And this is how I got like 50% of my kills as Joker. Okay, no, like a good proportion of my fair one kills as Joker. I would do neutral get up into fair one, into drag down, into whatever, okay? The up smash didn't really work there, but um, I, I would do neutral get up, fair one, which is very slow, okay? So the, the up smash is inconsistent on character, so I'll do down smash. But See, when people do neutral get up, who would do a slow, look, this this wolf, imagine he's covering neutral get up. You'd be scared shitless, you're gonna get down smash. But no, if you have cojones of steel, I'll do a slow startup move, but a high reward move, and get the kill like that. Or, even better, some people will roll on and then do F tilt back. But sometimes you gotta roll on, turn around fair one, and do something. Or a lot of people, this is very common, they roll on F smash back because they're not afraid of getting hit in the startup because they have cojones of steel and they have confidence. Look, I'm not saying every move you need to do needs to be a slow startup move. However, there's so many situations where a slow startup move is good or even just not doing anything. Let's say with this dash tag, I could just dash back. 
I don't need to hold shield. I don't need to buffer a forward tilt. I could just whiff it and then jump back. Whiff it, dash back without being afraid I'm gonna get caught because I have the confidence, because I'm not afraid, because I know what I'm doing, because I have cojones of steel. And sometimes you just need to force cojones of steel. So if you ever feel like you're constantly in disadvantage and you're constantly mashing spot dodge, constantly mashing roll, constantly mashing burst options to just try to get out of the suffocation you're in, well, guess what? You are the one putting yourself in that suffocation. And if you just had cojones of steel and for a second you didn't mash spot dodge, you didn't mash a burst option, then you might see, oh wait, I don't need to mash. Oh wait, I have nothing to be afraid of because sometimes the best way to get on stage, okay, and this is the last time I'm gonna change characters. And I'm gonna pick as Yoshi because sometimes when you pick it, play Yoshi and he has this high double jump and you might be afraid to go low with his recovery or you might be afraid to land with his double jump because look if i jump and then double jump i might be afraid to land so a lot of yoshis they'll jump double jump and they'll land with an aerial but you know what the best yoshi ron ron from japan who i consider the best player in the world what he'll do is he'll jump he'll jump double jump and then he'll just land he won't even do anything like he'll be off stage and they'll be waiting for him to get back on stage or they'll be holding shield here, waiting for me to land with fair, waiting for me to land with nair. But you know what his best landing option is? He just lands like this. And then he jumps back. Or he just lands and then he does a space forward down tilt. Okay, you might think, oh, but down tilt's a burst option. No, doing tomahawk down tilt, that's not a burst option. That's one of the slowest options ever because you have to take the time to land, okay? But the other person is waiting for him to do something. So he just lands. So sometimes doing nothing is the best thing and then when you're not afraid you realize you never had anything to fear but fear itself i know this is a big video but if you enjoyed it and if you understood it because i really not sure if people understood it right off the bat don't forget to hit the thumbs up swing the subscribe button have a swell evening and i'll see you next time